We have new information on the handful of dead Clydesdales found at a farm in Huntington County earlier this year. The prosecutor has decided not to file any charges in the case. News Channel 15's Adam Widener continues our coverage tonight. He's live in Studio 15 with the latest. Adam? Well, the Huntington County prosecutor says it boils down to not having enough evidence for neglect charges, a decision that came as a disappointment to at least one Huntington official. There was not enough evidence to establish that there was any crime. A Huntington County Animal Control Officer says last March, an anonymous tip led authorities to a handful of dead and malnourished Clydesdale horses, all belonging to Grandview Clydesdales. At the time, owner Shannon Cobbs told News Channel 15 the horses died because of the harsh winter. Animal Control and the State Board of Animal Health investigated the incident. Huntington County Prosecutor Amy Richeson looked over the case. When it came to the horses said to be malnourished? And there was just no evidence that those animals were in a state that they were not taken care of. On top of that, Richeson says Animal Control decided not to get necropsies for the dead horses, the animal form of an autopsy. We could not file charges because we don't know how these animals died. Huntington's Animal Control Officer Lori Vanover tells News Channel 15 she's disappointed with Richeson's decision but didn't want to go on camera. State leaders say necropsies are rare because they take a lot of time, effort, and money. In the end, Richeson says not everyone will like her decision, but she can only go off of the evidence she receives. When you have any kind of dead animal on someone's property, we automatically assume that it's the owner's lack of attention to that animal that caused the animal's death. I can't make assumptions in my job. I have to look at the evidence presented to me. And the evidence presented was there was no explanation for the two dead animals on the property. Now the horse owners were not charged with improper disposal of an animal either. Richardson says that's because they came back and properly disposed of the bodies as soon as they learned of the deaths. In Studio 15, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.